What's up with it? What's up with it, man? It's the Bronco with the Frog coming at you with another reaction video. We got 10 greatest dribblers in football history. Now, let me go ahead and lay out them givings. I'm talking about Neymar, Lionel, Ronaldinho. Um, that's three that jump out to me. They probably gonna have some old, old, old school players on there like Pele. They probably gonna have Johan Cruyff on their father of mine football. And, and them the only five that pop out, jump out to my mind, man. Let me know who y'all think is the 10 greatest dribblers down below in the comment section. Let's see where it goes down. There aren't many better sights in football than a player running at opponents with the ball at his feet. He's really Here not. Zidane? Oh, Zidane. I ain't know Zidane could dribble like that. I ain't gonna lie. Diego, Diego. Damn, I should have said Maradona him. Was an extraordinary dribbler. When he was running at defenders, show me some Diego. Was glued to his left the swag foot. master. Diego was so synonymous with dribbling that his own unique style was given a name. Gambetta. Gambetta. Which described a combination of skill and deception. I did not know his that. His dribbling also drew comparisons with tango, the traditional Argentine dance. <laughs> I danced on the air. In and out of tackles was remarkable for two key reasons. Hey, you know who know about that dance and that Ronaldinho on that one little outside the box shot he got the tango on under their ass and just straight booted that hoe, no one up or nothing. Boy, Ronaldinho was a dog. Firstly, the pitches were Damn. terrible during his career. Second, attackers didn't get much protection from referees in those days. Some oh, school. That's every sport. <laughs> That's every sport. Basketball. Most famous dribble came at the 1986 World Cup. He collected the ball Why did boy look like Logan Street. Paul? Kind of, sort of, maybe, no. On first glance, bro, looked like Logan Paul for a little bit. Dribble came at the 1986 World Cup. He collected the ball inside his own half, dribbled past four England outfielders and the keeper, then slotted home. This is Short King what right there, man. From? Screamed the Argentine commentator. <laughs> what from planet are you from, Lionel? Years after Diego Maradona we know retired, that. Lionel Messi made his professional debut for Barcelona. Watches. They might be very different characters off the pitch, but only the similarities between Maradona and Messi are uncanny. The younger Argentine even scored a replica of Diego's goal against yep. England. We've seen Messi the video about that. Getafe players for dead. Damn. Firing the ball home in a La Liga match in 2007. Incredibly, that might not even be his best ever solo goal. Messi scored another stunner against Athletic Bilbao. Athletic Bilbao, man, I can't even get happy about this one. The ball on the right touch line, tricked his way past. I can't even get happy about this one. Man. A shot in past the keeper. Even at the age of 34, Messi is still a world-class dribbler. In his the Messi. Isn't quite <laughs> where he was, but defenders still struggle to take the ball off that mesmeric left foot. Miss Mary. Garincha. Garincha. I heard about him. Stacked against Garincha right from the very start. As a Brazil child, he was declared a cripple by a local doctor. His right leg was bent inwards and was six centimeters shorter than his left. And he still became a goddamn football legend with that handicap right there. Bro, don't let anybody ever tell y'all that y'all can't do nothing, bro. This living proof right here. could have imagined that he'd grow up to become one of the greatest footballers of all time. Often referred to as the king of the dribble. And Garincha was a natural entertainer who used tricks and feints to get past his marker. The bow-legged winger was part of Brazil's World Cup winning team in 1958. That's an insult years down later, here. he was the star man there go as they won the trophy again. In the entire history of football, no one made more people happy than Garincha. Garincha. Said the Uruguayan writer Eduardo Garincha. Uh, uh, Garincha. Said the Uruguayan writer uh, uh, Eduardo uh, uh, Garincha. Uh, 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 Oh, gee, Ronaldo. As we mentioned in this video, was small and slight. I reacted to him, but I don't know why I just never took him as a dribbler. Ronaldo was different. Six feet tall and super strong. He combined pace, power, and technical ability like few others. The sight of Ronaldo storming past opponents was a sight to behold. He had quick feet for someone of his size. And Big bruise. to catch up with him when he was running at full speed. Ronaldo's best ever dribble was in a game for Barcelona against Compostela. I ain't Stryker never heard of that team. possession in his own half, took the ball around five opponents, and applied the finishing touch. Hey. A series of knee injuries robbed yep, Ronaldo I hate seeing this, man. Pace, but his technical ability was undiminished. Even goalkeepers weren't safe from his stepovers. As goalers, Richard Kingston found out at the 2006 World <laughs> He hit a goalkeeper with it. Found Did I just see my boy Johan Cruyff right there? Come on, bro. Don't play with me like that. He hit a goalkeeper with a step over there. 2006 World Cup. 
Johan Cruyff. Yeah. As a player and a manager, Johan Cruyff is one of the most influential footballing figures of all time. He helped Ringus Mickles create the total football style. I'll tell you, he looked like Luka Magic, bro. Holland. Later, he built Barcelona into the super club we all know today. Cruyff was a deep thinker about the game. He was intelligent both on and off the field, but he was also an instinctive talent who could do amazing things with the ball at his feet. Mm -hmm. He's most famous for the Cruyff turn, which he performed at the 1974 <laughs> World Damn Cup. Damn it, bro, His Swedish victim, Jan Olsen, said, Now when I see the video, every time I think I've got the ball, when he's about to kick the ball, I'm sure I'm going to take it. But every time he surprises... I'll be doing that on FIFA. That was Cruyff's signature move. But he showed his dribbling ability on countless other occasions. The Dutchman was basically two-footed. So defenders didn't know which way he was going to go. George Best. George Best. I ain't heard now, it, bro. If we're talking about natural talent... Man United? Many players in history had more of it than George Best. The Man United... That boy legend. just up like Santa oh, Claus. <laughs> His Santa Claus ass long sleeve. He ain't even got no logo on there. had more of it than George Best. The Man United legend could have been more consistent. His time at the top was relatively short. And he struggled he with various like off-field issues. But at his peak... Off-field issues. What issues we talk about? What type of issues we talk about? Bro look like a porn star. I ain't gonna lie. A little bench is 70s Consistent porn star. Hold on. Bam! Y'all can't tell me, bro. Don't look like a porn star now. Little Playboy man. Little, little Playboy. You know what I'm saying? The top was relatively short, and he struggled with various off field issues. But at his peak, Best lived up to his surname. The Northern Irish his was surname. Part of United's Holy Trinity, his last name is Best. Bobby Charlton and Dennis Law. Best was the biggest entertainer of the trio. With his repertoire of tricks, flicks, and Bro, movie this way. He got this way. Yeah, he got this way. He got this way. People were transfixed, bewitched, and delighted by the impish skills of Best. <laughs> that invariably brought a smile to all except the defenders who had to face him, said BBC journalist John May. Pele. Pe Come on, bro. Pele. Am I five for five already? I said Pele, I said Croaf, I said Ronaldinho, Lionel, and Neymar. So Neymar and Ronaldinho, y'all better be on the list, everything. man. He scored goals with both feet and his head. He created chances as well as converting them. Pelé could play in several different positions. The Brazilian isn't always renowned for his dribbling, but that's just because he was equally brilliant at everything else. Yeah. Quick, skillful, Three World and ambidextrous. Uh, dropped him on his ass. defenders in different ways. Sometimes he used raw pace to leave opponents in the dust. On other occasions, he used his nimble footwork to get out of tight spots. That's He's disgusting. That's dust. disgusting. Other occasions, he used his nimble ah, footwork to ah. get out of tight spots. He you know what I'm saying? Fake shot. Go the same way. Pele came out with the ball. Some defenders tried to foul Pele to knock him off his stride, <laughs> but even that wasn't enough to stop the king. The Neymar effect. Zinedine Zidane. Zidane. Zinedine Zidane was one of the most I know he was a dribbler, bro. to ever play the game. He wasn't particularly quick, but his magnificent balance and close control made him a world-class dribbler. Zidane usually played in the center of the pitch, where space is hardest to come by. Elegant. Because he, he said never let the get too far away from him. Ooh. He could evade tackles even in the most crowded Ooh. areas. Zidane will always be remembered Ooh. for the roulette. Also roulette? The 360 turn. He can't get a roulette. Perfected early on in his Y'all know I like Even the roulettes. very best teams fell victim to Zidane's marvelous ball control. The Frenchman dribbled with his head up, continually assessing the options around him. He never dribbled just for the sake of it. If it was better to make a pass, that's what Zidane did, and it was usually accurate too. Ronaldinho. 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 Both was five. one of the most entertaining footballers we've ever seen. Both the back-tooth Brazilian was always grinning on the pitch, and he made sure the fans were having just as much fun hey. as him. Ronaldinho was a magician. He had an exquisite ability to dodge tackles. Most entertaining dude I ever watched, bro. And fans open mouth. Opponents resorted to desperate measures to stop him, but a little tug of the shirt wasn't enough. One defender who tried that was left embarrassed. It's a shame Ronaldinho's peak didn't last longer, but it it's best to celebrate his immense talent rather than dwell on what might have been. As a dribbler, Ronaldinho was an absolute genius. I never knew he had a short prime. Neymar! Come on, bro. I thought I was a little way too in over my head at first. I thought I was too way in over my head at first. I was like, maybe Neymar is not on the list. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's just like some recency bias stuff. He's on the list. Call me the football goddamn expert, bro. 
Let's be honest, I'm satisfied. watching Neymar can be a frustrating experience. It can. His theatrics turn many people off, but we shouldn't lose sight of the fact that he's one of the most gifted footballers on the planet. The Kyrie he Irving of the football world, man. record for PSG in Brazil, but his best quality is undoubtedly his dribbling. Neymar isn't slow, but he usually gets past opponents with silky footwork rather than raw pace. Even as a youngster at Santos, Ney was an elite dribbler. He honed his skills at Barcelona. They kill football. And a major threat Neymar to play kill football, man. Like him or not, Neymar is one of the most devastating 1v1 players of the modern era. Okay, let's do some honorable mentions, shall we? Uh, Stanley Matthews. Stanley Matthews, I heard From the of the 1930s to the 1950s, most English teams played the same way. They tried to work the ball out wide to the winger, who ran to the byline and get crossed. But look, Stanley got jiggy on him. Matthews was the greatest dribbler English football has ever produced. His pace, balance, and close control earned him the nickname The Wizard of the Dribble. The Wizard. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, younger viewers might only know Cristiano Ronaldo as a relentless goal scoring machine. Earlier on in his career, the Portuguese was a step over loving winger who enjoyed teasing. Yeah, we know he loved him step over. Finding skill with speed. Ronaldo was very difficult to stop when in full flow. His dribbling became more infrequent at Real Madrid, a CR7 focused on scoring goals and winning trophies. Jimmy Johnston. Jimmy Johnston, they in heard him. In 1967, Celtic won the, the European Cup with a team of local lads. Every member of the 15-man squad that beat Benfica Celtic. in the final was born within 30 miles of Celtic Park. That's Jimmy right Johnston there. was the star of that team, despite only being five foot four in Whoa! Germany. Now that's a short king. Now that's showing up for the short kings right there. Tim Winger honed his dribbling skills as a five, kid, four. moving the ball in and out of milk bottles in his hallway at home. Rivellino! Rivellino! Rivellino was the player who first popularized the Elastico, which was later used by Romario, Ronaldo, and Ronald Hold on, is he number one or is this honorable mention? That was just one example of the Brazilian skill and technical ability. Brazilian, of course. Was a key part of the Three Bra team four the Brazilians on his list. World Cup, alongside the likes of Pele, Jezinho, and Tostal. Look at that throw. Alfredo Di Stefano. Oh, okay, this still honorable Alfredo mission. Di Stefano was one of the most complete footballers of all time. He could play in several different positions and contributed in defense, midfield. The list is over. I just realized did the honorable mentions. I'm thinking he finna do honorable mentions and then say the last one. I just realized the list is over and he, we, he just he got off that attack. Team. One of his best attributes was his dribbling. This slow was ass turn around. Ball carrier who progressed the ball at the pitch to great effect. Who else would you add to our list of football's best dribblers? Drop a comment below and make sure you subscribe so you never miss a... Hey, let me know down in the below who would y'all add to this list and who do y'all think don't deserve to be on the list, man. I got five out of five. All five of my predictions was correct, so y'all already know. I'm something like an expert, man. Like, comment, subscribe, code, or add to that somehow.